Sometimes there might be a little volume remaining, a residual volume remaining over here. Please don't worry about that. If I put in 9 ml, if I put in 9 ml of uh, the liquid, the plunger should come back 9 ml. So the plunger came back 9 ml. Right? So that means I have removed all the back pressure. Right? So then you just take it out. Remove this on the side. Then you mix it. Please mix and remember to observe. So the examiner knows that okay, you, you care that the drug dissolves. You know, it's not just you mix it and keep it and then you just continue. No. Mix and then you observe. These are lyophilized powders, so they should dissolve very quickly. Okay? It just takes two minutes for the powders to dissolve. Now one of the commonest mistakes that students make, and it's a zero if you make this mistake, is they forget to fill it. So if you don't have the procedure, you don't look at the procedure, you are nervous, you are tense, you forget, to, you forget a step, which is a very important step here. Now the filter needle always goes last. It's, if you always use the filter needle one way. So I take the reconstituted solution, I cap it, remove the cap, this is the filter needle. It says filter needle over here. I'll put the filter needle on. So the drug going in is filtered. Clear? Okay. Now let me show you a, a very common mistake. What happened? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, since we have two drugs, we have to use separate syringes. If you have just one drug, I could have continued with the 10ml syringe too. If I don't put it down, I can use it. Right. Now, uh, let's go back a little. I'm going to show you what uh, the, some of the students they do. Common as mistake. You will never make it. This is what they do. You reconsidered the drug. They put the filter needle on. They take the drug. Drug inside is filtered. Right? They use the same needle to transfer the drug in the bag. What has happened? I took the drug. The drug inside is filtered. All the junk is lying on the filter. So what did I do is I push the junk in the bag, no use. Suppose, filter needle always goes once. Suppose in the exam, like you just have one filter needle and instead of taking the regular needle, you take the filter needle, okay? I take the filter needle first. I take the solution, then I would cap the filter needle, take it out, take the regular needle and put the drug in the bag. I always tell students that the filter needle goes last, very obvious reasons. See the length of the needles. Look at the filter needle, it's very long. If I have to take the drug, you know, how high am I going to raise? I have small hands. See how high am I going to raise the bottle? Difficult, right? Use a shorter needle, it's easy. So remember this, filter needle always goes last after I draw the drug from the reconstituted bottle, 
I will draw it with a regular needle, change it, and put the filter needle, and then insert the drug in the bag. Is it clear? Yeah, sometimes uh, these bottles look very similar. So before you take, it's it's wise to just look at the bottle and say, okay, we are taking the right drug. So okay, after I fill the syringe with air, I'm going to show it to the examiner. The examiner is going to know. Can you make sure there are no air bubbles? Show it to the examiner. Then you will see in the back. And mix and observe. Mix and observe. These are liquids, right? So you don't have to go. Please. That we did it with the drug. Right? We did it with the drug. Please. This is gentle. You mix and you observe. That's it. So simple. I think IV is the simplest. I like IVs. You're, you're still not done yet. You know, you, you have to then like, you know, discard the sharps in the sharps container. In the exam, the bag and the bottles, you will take it with you, right? But today, like with the bags, the bag, you will return it back. We are going to reuse the bags. Everything else is garbage. Whatever is unused, you should put it back. This is what you will do. All this will go in the garbage. Bag, you will put it back. And whatever is unused, you will put it back. Sorry? Yeah, the vials also, you will take it with you. You have to measure the volumes. So you you take uh, two ml living measure. So if it is ten ml, it has to be eight ml remaining. That's what. On the exam, you take the bag back to your place and then you label it there. If you want. Ah uh, yes. Don't give it anyone. Yes. Okay. And the the labels. Uh, the, label here. the label will go. So sir, here we go. The label will go not this way, but this way. Because the bag is going to be hanging like this. Suppose if the doctor or the nurse, they want to check the label. You label it this way or wrong. It has to be here. This is how, see this? And how is it labeled? Any side. Any side. Uh, doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. I think they prefer you label it on this side so they can see the volume more and more. But it doesn't matter about that. And it's, do, you, do you see how is it labeled here? This way, right? The bag is going to be hanging like this. I'm the patient. And one of you is a nurse or a doctor. They want to come and check the label. If the pharmacist labels it this way, then how are they going to do it? Climb up and then look down? No. They cannot turn the bag off. So. Any questions? I hope it is very clear. I showed you like you know where students commonly make mistakes. Be sure you know. Okay, if you have questions, we can I can answer any questions here. One in real.